Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence. Welcome to The Prime Project. Now, I'm not a big fan of US television. In fact, I'm not a big fan of television in general, to be honest. Um, however, I did notice in the news recently that one of the Prime Bachelors from the US show, The Bachelor, had decided to come out. And uh, kudos to him, congratulations. What was interesting was the response that his coming out had. Obviously, there were many people who were in support of him discovering his uh, authentic sexuality, but then there were also some other ridiculous comments on the other side. In fact, there was one comment that I saw was someone saying, does that mean that the TV network will need to start screening the bachelors to make sure they're not gay? Now, of course, I've given a pregnant pause there just to let the stupidity of that comment sink in. I'm not even sure how they would do that. You know, do they lock him in a room and play a full Kylie album and see if there's a response by the time they get to the end of the album? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but it did strike me as a bizarrely unusual comment to make and highlight perhaps still the lack of understanding that often exists around what it's like to grow up in part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Now, I know for me personally, I didn't come out till I was in my late teens, getting towards the end of my high school life. Um, I did know that prior to coming out, I had no concept I was gay. I really didn't. And sexuality wasn't a high on my agenda, um, wordplay intended. Um, you know, for me, it was a case of, um, I just didn't feel any connection kind of there. I could see a lot of my friends were beginning to get girlfriends and everything, and I just didn't have any drive there. And it didn't rate as a red flag overly. I just thought that was who I was. I could sense that I was different, but I just couldn't put my finger on in what way. It wasn't until towards the end of my high school life that um, that world began to open up to me and I began to discover uh, who I sexually, authentically was. And, you know, when you think about it, I know several of my friends who came out later in life. You know, some of them were married beforehand and some of them had children. And, you know, there were wonderful experiences that they wouldn't have traded in, but they reached the point where they recognised that they actually were gay and that they wanted to live that part of their life authentically. And, you know, there's that debate between nature and nurture too. I know, to be honest, I don't know anyone out there who says that they weren't born gay. If you think that, I'd be curious to chat with you because I'd love to hear, um, you know, your, your, your thinking around that. Um, that's not, it's not aggressive. I just, I'm genuinely interested. Um, however, you know, I think everyone tends to feel that they were born gay. But in terms of nature and nurture, I think it does play a part because I think the way they're being nurtured might indicate at what point they came out or didn't come out as well. You know, I think there's a lot of assumptions made uh, from people who may not understand what it's like to grow up being gay about that part of our life and about coming out, you know, apart from the fact that is there a test that's going to test if you actually are gay or not? Um, you know, it's, it's about just accepting people for who they are and allowing them to be when the time is right. Now, as I get towards the end of this, I realise there's no real punchline coming up here in terms of where this is going. It's more of an observation based on a current news thing. But I'm curious to hear perhaps what your experience has been like as well. You know, certainly feel free to jot them in the comments around this episode. It'd be great to uh, find out what your experience has been and if perhaps you agree with my comments or if you disagree. In the meantime, though, thank you for watching. And it's back to Joey and Alex.